Good morning, YouTubers, do-it-yourselfers, shops, or just curiously browsing through random things, people. It's great to have another day, be able to post another video. I do appreciate the subscribers. If anybody watches this and it's helpful or useful, please don't hesitate to hit that like, subscribe, and share. This is quick. This is a 2016 Chevy Suburban, but this will apply to most newer model Chevys I've found out. Here's your stock pin. This is for your caliper. This is what slides the caliper back and forth. See the issue here? Completely toast. The new one will get greased. But here's the big issue. Those of you that know bolts will know the difference in that. Running down the road, Apparently one of these things sheared off quite easily and created a grinding vibration noise. Um, this is actually my in-law's vehicle. Uh, just put new shocks, struts, and uh, brake pads on it. So, you know, naturally I was concerned. I was like, well, darn, what did I do? And uh, he said it was only doing it when he was braking so i'm like okay if it's just when you're braking maybe something's caught in the road or whatnot you know if it's not doing it driving down the road and mind you they're up in michigan and i'm in texas i said you know just bring her home if it gets worse we can stop and we'll get it looked at but you know we got it home i drove it i was like well i mean it's a grind so i got it in here i jacked it up and sure enough though so there's your grind the top bolt had completely sheared and caliper was loose inside the rim there. And on reading a little bit, this is apparently a common issue on some of these newer Chevys, the Silverados, the Suburbans, the heavier SUVs. You know, they're coming with these little, I don't even know if these are grade 5, I can't really see on there. They might be grade 3. The replacement kits for them, grade 8. Slide pins, heavier quality, and the crazy thing is, naturally your back calipers were smaller. Their bolts were thicker, heavier duty than the front. So, um, yeah, I didn't fully understand that one, but I do understand why I sheared it. I mean, you've got to understand the amount of pressure these things apply when you're braking, especially after a long trip where they've been heated up. And while I'm under here, here's a quick little tidbit for you. Before I done shocks and struts on this thing, it was kind of difficult to control and wind and uneven lanes and roads. Or as you know, you get up behind an 18-wheeler, um, braking was starting to suck on it. Acceleration was starting to suck on it. That's not necessarily your brakes all the time. You'd be surprised how much in things right there. If you nosedive when you brake and try to stop, it's going to be harder to stop. It's going to take longer to stop. That means your shocks are failing, your struts are failing. And then, you know, I've done a, pre a previous video on cupping on the inside of tires. Uh, but this one also has a really bad sway sometimes in the wind. And that's probably the easiest thing to diagnose. You know, you just want to pry on these. There's any These should have no movement up and down at all. Same here. Ball joints, control arm bushings. Then you've got your sway linkage. These are the same. There should be no play. I've seen videos with people saying, oh, a little bit of play. So no, no, there should be no play. This thing can move up and down, change the linkage or change the bushings. But these are the most overlooked thing, I think, on any vehicle. This is a sway bar bushing, okay? You see the issue here? I mean, I can get a screwdriver all the way through there. So if this bar can move up and down this way, it's going to create a stability issue. And on rear-wheel drive vehicles like this, you also have a sway bar in the back. So if you've got both sway bar bushings out, it's going to be difficult to maintain control sometimes. It's going to feel like it's all over the place. Um, actually, I didn't intend to go into all that on this video. It was more on a brake caliper, but hey, while I had the wheel off, um, if you're not familiar with how to do these, <clears throat> you're going to need a... These will go on this way. Don't impact these, okay? Just get your pair of pliers, grab a hold of this, run it in, and tighten it. And if you know your specs or you can find your specs, look at your torque specs. 
And while we're on torque specs, here's one more thing. As I said, I've done all around brakes and shocks on this, so I put these lugs back on. Well, one of these are messed up anyway. That's a horrible thing with these newer vehicles. These uh, cheap cap lug nuts. I always suggest people go get you some hard ones, get some newer ones, replace these things. They're junk. They strip out really easy. <clears throat> this was done at the tire shop. Yeah, I put these wheels on. I ran them up by hand, and I torqued them to the manufacturer specs. Father-in-law takes them to the tire shop to get the tires put on, and first thing to do is hit it with an impact. Well, they couldn't get that one off. So instead of grabbing a breakover bar like any normal mechanic or tire technician would do, they go and get him and ask permission to break the lugs. Well, you know, he's not familiar with it, and he couldn't get a hold of me, so he goes, okay, whatever you got to do. So I'm thinking when he tells me this, okay, so they got a breakover bar and still couldn't get it. No, they got a bigger impact and completely sheared it. If you go to a tire shop that does this, do not use that tire shop anymore. And really and truthfully, if you go to a tire shop that doesn't torque, don't use them anymore. I mean, I wasn't a big fan of Walmart until I took a car up there, and they torqued the spec. Every vehicle has its own individual torque specs for lugs for every bolt on this vehicle. There's a torque spec. Um, any questions on Chevy's, Ford's, Dodge, suspension, OBDs, codes, don't hesitate to leave in the comments. You can contact me personally. There is a link for my email. Um, I will get back. I do respond, and I do try to respond as quick as possible. Thank you all, and God bless.